Hi, I'm Mark Tross. This is the New Mexico Minute. Today we're talking about the 47th star. When the phone rang at Territorial Governor William Mills's home the day New Mexico became a state, his daughter, 16-year-old Madeline, had no idea she was about to be asked to do something historically significant. Her father told her he had just received word from President Taft that New Mexico is now a state. Tell your mother and come over right now. They arrived at his office shortly after former Governor Miguel Otero, who had brought with him a brand new American flag on which he had hand-sewn a 47 star. The two governors, along with Madeline, climbed the steps to the base of the cupola on top of the Capitol Dome, where they lowered the flag with Oklahoma's 46 star. The men, with shaking hands, then attached the new flag, and Madeline pulled on the rope raising the flag above the new state's capital for the very first time. Note, there never was an official 47 star flag. Congress had decreed that a star would be added on the 4th of July following a state's admission. And since Arizona became a state only 39 days after New Mexico, the next July, the new flag had 48 stars. There were a few made, however, and today one of these flags is in the Palace of the Governors and another is on exhibit at the Tularuso Basin Historical Society Museum in Alamogordo. The question of the day is, what was the first delivery service in Albuquerque? The answer is Bryant Delivery Service, which was founded by an African-American family, was the first delivery service.